on our way to the gym right now. We're gonna hit a chest and back workout, and I'm I'm wearing the KT tape on my elbow, like I talked about in my last vlog. And then this guy got a haircut. He's got a, like a full hot going on. <laughs> Looks kind of funny. <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> I just looked at the last clip and you couldn't really see the KT tape, so here it is. So, there it is, right there. Alright, just finished the chest and back workout, and sorry, I didn't get any footage for it. It was just absolutely packed, there was no room to film, and there's just way too many people walking around. I, I'm trying my best to get some workout footage in, because that is what I want my channel to be. But, uh, funny story, when uh, I was doing... Uh, uh, flat bench, single arm, uh, single arm flat bench. So I was bench pressing with one dumbbell at a time. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was about the tenth rep. I was about to push myself really hard, and then I farted really loud. Well, I'm assuming it was really loud because I was listening to music. And then after I got up, I just played it cool. So yeah, uh, people probably looked at me, but I just tried to play it off really cool. <laughs> Just taking a study break right now. I'm currently studying for my uh, personal training midterm right now, so that was kind of a nice little break. Got a little laugh out of that, so yeah, I'm studying right now. So you could see from these books and my notes and I'm I have a midterm tomorrow so you find your way back home Alright, so as you guys saw, this is the gyro ball that I was talking about. So this is going to help me increase my grip strength in my right hand. And this thing is really cool because it's like a self-generating motor. You just put like the string in it and then it's like you rip it like a Beyblade, if you guys know what that is. And then you just pretty much just, you got to keep twisting your wrist to make sure that the motor keeps going. And the faster that you guys spin it, the more power it's going to generate. So it's actually, it gets really hard to grip when you're um, turning it really fast. So this is definitely going to help my grip strength. So that is what it is. All right, it is, it is about 3 p.m. right now, and I'm about to take my personal training uh, midterm right now. And I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't study a whole lot. I did review all of my notes, everything that I thought was really important. So yes, I did study, but um, I'm wondering how this is going to go. So really have trouble staying focused. Like I would study for like 10 minutes and then I would go do something else. I have a midterm that I'm about to take right now. So see how this goes. Alright, so I just took my midterm and I didn't pass. I got a 76% and you need an 80% to pass. And I'm kind of frustrated right now because uh, if I got two more answers right, I would have passed. And I just so happened to change two of my answers to incorrect answers. You either know it or you don't. You can't really... It's really hard to like connect this and then connect that and like oh here's the answer that makes a lot of sense so either you know it or you don't so on a positive note this is a reality check for me it's telling me that i need to study harder and a lot smarter because i've read a lot of tips online about people that have already taken it and they tell they always tell people like how hard they had to study for this exam and i didn't really realize that it was going to be this hard even though this is just a midterm this isn't the real exam it's a wake-up call for me to study a lot harder and just be more efficient with my time 10 30 p.m right now pre-workout just kicked in but i already went to the gym today i actually already know the reason why that my pre-workout always hits me super late is because i eat food 
like a lot of food right before I go to the gym. So then when I take my pre-workout, it takes a while to, di to digest because of all the food in my system, but I really enjoy taking my pre-workout on the way to the gym. So am I getting the full benefit out of my pre-workout? Not really, but I guess when I edit really late at night, I always have the energy to do it. So I guess that's where the pre-workout kicks in. All right, so I was gonna get up at 5 a.m. tomorrow to film an ab workout, but since I have the energy to do it right now, I will do it right now. And as you guys know, my mind muscle connection on my right side is like completely thrown off. It's mainly due to my job, is because at Chipotle, I carry a lot of heavy pots and pans, and just holding like heavy stuff in this position and do the concept of relative flexibility which means that your body will take the path of least resistance so any way that my body can hold this pot right here it'll do it even if it's not using the correct muscles it will find a way to find the path of least resistance so that has um, made me develop incorrect motor patterns so I've been trying to retrain my mind muscle connection yeah so like I've noticed that my entire left side of my body has been developing a lot faster than my right side and I actually did measure my arm my left arm is actually bigger than my right arm which is which is really weird because I'm right-handed but I know the reason why this is happening and whenever I do like a bench press or bench press traps tricep extension whatever um, my left side does tend to take over the movement so I'm trying to do extra work on my right side just so I could develop my body evenly all right so that was a total lie I am actually not gonna do the ab workout outside because I was about to go outside and then I hear pouring rain. So it is pouring rain outside. Uh, the reason I wanted to go do a workout outside is just to change the scenery because like, I know a lot of this vlog was just in my house. But I guess I will do an out workout in my house. I'll try to make it look interesting with like the lighting and stuff. But yeah, it is pouring rain outside. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's pouring. Not pouring, but it is raining outside and I don't want to get my camera wet because it's an electronic. Home ab workout it is then. Indoors, indoors, indoors. You guys better know where that's from. All right, so for this ab workout, I don't I really have a structured workout. I'm just gonna go with whatever I feel like doing. And I'm also gonna try to focus more on the right side of my abs because as I told you, my left side is developing faster than my right side so I feel like whenever I flex my core I only feel it on my left side which is something that I really really don't want because I want to develop myself evenly so I'm going to try to do some exercises that focus more on my right side alright so I don't know if you guys can see because I'm not very lean right now but this whenever I flex my core I feel like this app or like this specific ab right here is doing like most of the movement. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but this one feels this app feels like it's a lot bigger than this one because I feel a lot doing a lot more work. I don't know if you can see that. I tried to get some better lighting. In. I'm getting so tubby, but these gains though. This arm is bigger than this one, so I'll just give you guys a physique update.